Thanks very much to Sue Campbell. Uh, she truly is an inspiration, and she certainly inspires many young people and has dedicated her whole life to doing that. I, I'm Sue Williamson. I'm the uh, very new chief executive of the school's network. However, I'm not new to this network. It's been part of my life since 1994. As a newly appointed head teacher, I was looking for inspiration and practical advice on how to transform my school. I found that support in this network. It was at the heart of the work of the school and impacted upon the lives of thousands of students. In 2002, I joined the Specialist Schools and Academies Trust as Director of Leadership and Innovation. I can't thank Liz Reed enough for the opportunities she gave me. Liz enabled me to work closely with head teachers to lead the educational agenda. As a head teacher, I'd been a member of the Vision 2020 group, and we'd strongly advocated that head teachers should be responsible for developing the next generation of heads. In my new role, I was able to work with the heads, and, the and we launched the Developing Leaders for Tomorrow program. Imagine my delight on Wednesday when I walked into the conference and met a developing leader from the very first cohort, who is now a principal of an academy in Kings Lynn. Yesterday, Andrew posed the question, how do we cultivate the agenda for a revolution for change by harnessing the power of the networks? I think we've sown the seeds by advocating that school leaders lead the system. Our work on personalising learning, student leadership, by establishing global networks, as a network that includes primary, special and secondary schools, we are uniquely placed to deliver the global education transformation that all our speakers have advocated. I know from looking at the Twitter feed and speaking to delegates that this conference has provided many nuggets of inspiration. For the conference, though, to be successful, we have to take the ideas and implement them into the classroom. I believe that the conference has given the school's network the agenda for the forthcoming year. Alan November has talked to us about students as learning entrepreneurs providing a legacy for the next generation of students. Alan has already agreed to come back to England in February and we're already receiving loads of requests uh, for him to visit different parts of England and we're going to do our absolute best to comply with that. Claire Young and the Go Global Challenge, again, She's on an all-round England tour. If you want her to come to your school, let us know. Ken Robinson gave us the challenge of developing creativity across the curriculum. And David Putnam about developing digital pedagogy. And of course, yesterday, the Secretary of State gave us the, the challenge about de developing the thinking around subjects. And so much more. We will, of course, email you after the conference so you can let us know whether you want to work with Alan and any of these other speakers and whether you would like us to bring an event to your region. I believe that there is an opportunity in the forthcoming year for all our networks to become development and research networks to share with the world that we are working with students to develop a school system with purpose, autonomy and mastery. To do this, though, we must partner with other networks and organisations. David Putnam is already committed to working with us, Michael Barber and Pearsons, and we started our work on personalising learning with ASCO, and we want to work with them again to take it to the next stage of development. I'm going to talk to Steve Mumby at the National College on collaborating on the development of uh, teaching schools and leadership. This is our 10th year at the ICC, and it's a venue that we really love working in. But we've decided it will be our last year for a while. We want to move around the country, as we used to do in the first nine years of the organisation, so that we can showcase the work of schools actually in situ. Next year, the Schools Network will be 25 years young. It would be a fitting tribute to your network if we can capture and present your world work to the world. New technologies can enable us to do this. So can our students. We can use new technologies to influence policy. 
we've been putting the film of all our keynote speakers onto the web almost as they finish. David Putnam finished speaking yesterday at 2.30 p.m. At 3.30 p.m., the Secretary of State rewrote his speech to this conference. So I think we've got a way of moving forward. My last point is, you are a member of the world's largest independent schools network. Together, we can transform education and recognize that every child has talent. Thank you. My my colleague, Lynn Simmons, is going to read some announcements, but I just want to say that we have a very talented staff at the Trust, and the work of the conference, of organising the conference, I think Andrew, as you would agree, has done a magnificent job on linking, comparing it. And Lynn is our staff organising the conference team. And I just want to say that I hope that we've made the conference a great experience, but I'd just also like to thank the Trust staff. Thank you.